that's uh Kinkazu Guratashi. Uh Kinkazu is about to make a journey here. And I kind of messed this up, but this is probably a great video for it right now. The teleport is probably one of the funnest, easiest, convenient means of travel. Uh, if you pull up your teleport screen, when it asks you to teleport, I have to touch you a bunch of, at the right. Some will be like a hundred, and some will be like at four or five or a thousand or something of that nature. So uh, I'm logging in immediately here, and I was about to do uh, the return of Bent Branch, but I didn't do it right, and I ended up traveling by uh, the ship. But the ship. Uh, leaving the continent was still at 120 and 120 for two directions for going and coming back for 120 times 2 which is uh, 240 which is still cheaper that was the mender type thing that I took the sense of your arms uh, suggested after some combat pay them or you'll have your palladium system your rifts world SDC damage uh, reduce as far as his protection capability if they're not in good repair. And same with like blades and things like that, won't cut as well. And shields won't block as well. You know, those types of things. Um, that's very important. You'll suddenly just get a message in combat type thing where uh, you were doing great and I, I think I got one today. Uh, but. Uh, you're like, I'm taking seven, I've got protect on, and like 47, 91 type thing. You're like, what is wrong with, you know, and, and most likely something on you that was supposed to be right broke. Uh, as far as uh, clothing, armor, breastplate, shield, or something, and it's not as protective as it used to be. Okay, here. Now, finding this is uh, tricky. You're gonna use the Ethernet, you're gonna go to the Chamber of Rule in Ada, or Uda, the Steps of Thao. The Uda. It's probably like uh, Easter Island and uh, Chile, I think, or the New Zealand Warriors. That type of thing. That from the chamber rule is Lola Maya and that's the lift attendant and that here is how you get back to the airship landing from that attendant after the chamber rule and you just go around the corner boom you're there and then you go buy a ticket That's, that's the kind of review here because it's really quick and there's not it's not on the map there we go there's the chamber of rule there I think it's rule yep it's rule yeah. no doubts about it okay there's the shard there, there's me, there is the mini-map, and right there, without any indentation, I think of your map here, it's gonna have a red, uh, pin in it, or, uh, uh, a taco, no, uh, let's see here, uh, we're gonna put that, it's not marked with the airship landing, but that's where the lift attendant is, yeah, you need to take that to a dentist, yeah. So we're going to do that. Sprint dissipated after using the shard. And there is the attendant right there. And see, Lola Maya, the lift attendant. And that's what that's about. There, the elevator attendant. And here, once again, Lola Maya, ride lift to airship landing. Lovely. And we are on it.
Nice graphic waist there. That was a good one. That was a good feeling. Yeah. Shit turned around and, and took off. Nice mod. Star Wars. Uh, Skywalker Ranch. Uh, Final Fantasy. Square Soft Ranch. Yeah. Or, or Pyramid. Something. Nega Tokyo. Alright, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Watched it. Loved it. <laughs> Enjoyed it. America. Okay, here, once you get to Gridania, uh, you would turn up the stairs, and that's your way back up to the Adventure Guild, to the Carline Canopy, Forest Canopy, and there's Mother Menu, and the Greaves and the Inn of the Roost, or the Roost Nest, the Rooster. But I realized a thing there that I could have teleported, or used the return on that. And see here, uh, that's uh, 618, 585, 563, 616, 644 in feet. Yeah. To go to those areas, Gridania was just uh, uh, just 100. So I, I could have done that one. And 200 from Wolf's Den Pier with 645, things like that. But you can go to the Linza Lominsa. Uh, through the same airship process, and that would be just 120, and then jump off the boat. Yeah. And and likewise here, that is teleport and return, and there are two keys here. That is my teleport one, and the bottom one is my return one. And that's the one home beacon one that I get for free, and I couldn't just return to the bent, bent branch and knock that out. And and just pay the chocobo ride, which I think from that area to Gridania is like 5 or 15 gil, 15 gold pieces. Which definitely would have been cheaper than 645 gold pieces. Yeah. Like 630. Yeah, all those fa fabulous costumes, uh, probably the Weaver's Guild. I think that's uh, upper... Ooh, that's... There's the Ethernet. And here. You go on the flaws, you hit that. Boom. You see there, right there in that type of sense. Tough acting to act in. Ethernet, you think... Maybe it goes with the giant crystal, but no, no, it doesn't. On that Ethernet type thing from the Gridanian Plaza is the Leatherworks Guild, Lancers Guild, Conjurers Guild, Botanist Guild, Archers Guild, all types of things like that, the Amphitheater. It's for the smaller shards within the area of Gridania. It's not actually all the teleport etherites in there, it's just the mini ones within the city. That's what the network represents. She is pretty amazing. Yeah. Trick up girl.
here I'm regrettably selling my inventory. Uh, most of the other places, if you're not doing it for bot and venture, you can purchase your items before you start doing a craft. There's a guild supply person who's got the items in for creation. If you look hard enough and think, if they're not, they're most likely can be made from the sub items there in the first through five, six through ten list to fuel on the rest of the list and in, in making. And uh, so there's really no reason. And the same thing when you have high quality items, you've got to move the cursor over. I haven't gotten to that video yet. I will. Same thing. I discovered that by accident. But sometimes you have high quality items. You'll have a one. You have zero, but you have three next to it. That means you have three high quality items, and then you have to go over and select the high quality item for it to fill the list for the craft. Okay. But besides that, I'm selling that to create space for my inventory um, because I kept going on things that was at 92, 97, 96, all types of amazing feats of inventory. And those inventory were cutting back on me finding other stuff and doing other like potential list jobs, right, to carry stuff. So I'm selling the rest of the craft items that I can't forever be prepared for. <laughs> I just, I only have a hundred inventory item list. Some of the other ways to lighten up your inventory is to also select things in there with the sub command, hit the square or X. Hit the X command, uh, preferably while you're not selling things. And in that type of sense, <laughs> uh, select to place it in the armory. And then it'll count in the armory chest, but not in the inventory chest. And therefore, you'll have more space in the inventory chest. I ultimately did not um, get to less than 50 items in inventory. I was at 72 out of 100, but that was still almost 30 spaces for jobs. So that was better. A lot better. Yeah. Instead of the two, it was like 28 more spaces on it type thing. Especially like loot type thing on instance raids. I uh, just had a video on that. Uh, had I had five pieces of loot from 97 to 102, 97 plus 5 to 102, two over when I had to drop something in there. In a spur of the moment while everybody else was going back to combat and things like that. And was, no, 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 no. Yeah. So we just sold things. Yeah. Before everybody else, you know, came to my side and was like, "Why so serious?" And it, we just, you know, I just, I, I just, yes, and uh, that was that was too much for me. Yes, too much. There was, it was not tradition. This is not tradition. This is not South Park tradition of the Wall of the Beast. It is not tradition for the the princess to be kidnapped by the aliens. It is not tradition. And you now may eat your sandwich. And I, uh... <laughs> and that was great. Now in inventory, uh... Here, that thing right there, that's your inventory. But yeah. uh, you want to go there and select that and see how it's kind of splotchy. And then you're going to go into one of the items here. And then you're going to equip, and then go, see there, and we're going to hit sort in that one. Yeah. Let's go here. I'm going to have to go back here, and boom. Yeah. Tough acting to act, and sort that thing. You have to sort it off of selecting one of the items, then go past equip and comparison down to the bottom, and hit sort. So that now you see all that splotchy stuff type thing. We're going to take care of that in just one second. Boom. Yeah. Now in there, type thing that means the splotchy stuff at the bottom all in order. All the uh, lotto balls are in order there. And in your inventory list on the fourth sheet, ah, oh, there's nothing there. Yeah. Yeah, it's all cleaned up. And there we go. And they're in order there with space. And 72 out of 100. Right then and there, gain 28 slots. And 
And now for the wand, you're gonna place in armory chest and that's gonna free up another slot. And there it goes. And that's 71 out of 100. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Now we're gonna sort that again in there. See that dot right there? Bam, it said it was missing and we're about to go fill that dot here. That's supposed to be your inventory dot, letting you know that you replace the first item into the armory chest and that it's out of order. Yeah. And there we go. Gain another slot there, and it moved a blue dot towards the corner there and filled it up to let you know how many other slots are available in your inventory. Amazing. Chad Brown with Tiger Isle, the second city, or Tiger Isle, second city, uh, second look at more detail, but not seriously, yeah. and just enjoying, uh, enjoying the game of Final Fantasy, a Realm Reborn, the Final Fantasy, Thanks for listening. And have a great one out there. Stairs. Remember the stairs. Gotta remember the stairs. Yeah. Excelsior. 